All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to All The Mods 8. Guys, I'm down here in our Blaze area because today we are making better mob farms all around. So yeah, we made these mob farms a couple episodes back uh, and they're pretty lit. Um, you know, we just got a bunch of blaze here that we can kill, a bunch of zombies. Uh, what I did do is I set up a little bit of a trash can system here to get rid of the lollipops because we were getting a lot of unnecessary things and like throwing the bundles in that we're not going to use um, and just kind of things like that. Like we don't need leather, we don't need iron. And then I have this uh, in a trap chest, um, or sorry, trap chest, so that when it's open, the hopper is locked and there's a trash can below it. So just in case I accidentally like right click my pickaxe in there, it doesn't go away. But we have a couple things that we need to create today, so I'm going to go ahead and throw all these in here. And then we did get a few more blaze rods, which was really handy. But anywho, let's grab the cardboard boxes here because we're going to be deactivating it for a second. That may be out. Okay, so we have one here. Okay, yeah, I am out of cardboard boxes, so I need to grab a couple sticks here. And wait, do we have any sawdust? <sighs> we only need one. Perfect. Okay. Sawing factor. Oh, there we go. We have a lot more than I thought. And then, by the way, I also set up um, some drawers up here that just kind of pump into the back so that we have a maximum amount of the enriched materials here. But then I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of the uh, ultimate alloys because those are fun. So, yes, we need to make several of the vector plates. Um, and they require sugar, uh, which we have because we have a bunch of sugar cane. Uh, and then we got a, a bit of slime balls, but uh, yeah, I don't want to use them all, so we're not gonna. And then what we're gonna do is because we have the cardboard boxes now, we are going to go here and here and here and here, and we are going to deactivate these by simply just doing that. And then we come down here, kill the remaining blazes and then I'll do the same for zombies actually we have to break in that is right okay there we go so we're gonna go ahead and kill off the remaining amount there we go cool so now we can take all right so with the mob farms deactivated here we can kind of get in there so in here we're just gonna kind of light this place up a little bit Perfect. All right. And then I'm gonna block this off. And we are actually removing this guy. We're no longer using it. You did well while you were here, my friend. But your services are no longer required. That's okay. So here we go. And then we're gonna break these guys. All right, and then cool. So this guy is now broken. Very good. And we can start to add in the vector plates here. Now this is going to prevent. This is going to do a couple things for us. One, it's going to prevent the uh, any extra mobs from spawning, which is has actually been a problem for us. So this is what we're going to do. Okay, so we now have the vector plates here. And the other thing I want to test out real quick is if we mine this block, the vector plate, do you fall through it? Yeah, you do. it there but we do have a block here which is good uh, so we might end up needing to lower this by one more block which is okay we could definitely do that but what I want to do is also combine the two farms together um, so that it's no longer two different killing chambers it's only one so that is what we're gonna be doing now as well all right and I do realize that we don't need to have those guys there but but I want you guys to be able to see what we're doing Okay, so these are all 
good to go and they're looking schnazzy. It's going to look a lot better too, in my opinion, because everything will look uniform. But now all we need to do is place these guys in. All right, so now these guys are in. Now they're not the fastest vector plates, but they will get the job done. Uh, and so next, what we're gonna do is break this line here, uh, because this is where the mobs are going to be going from now on. Um, and then the killing chamber will be right here where this chest is that I've set up. Okay, and we'll continue. We'll set that up uh, a little bit later. Uh, but what we need to do is actually bust the ground down by one, because we need them to be. Um, we need them to be higher because what they're gonna do, they're gonna fall down here. The vector plates are going to carry them like this. And then the killing chamber will be here. We need it there so that they don't fight back. But if there's too many there, they might have a problem. So we might actually need to lower this by two. Okay, so this is the new killing chamber area, which is very cool. So we'll be pushing the mobs down here. Um, I see no issues potentially with this system. Uh, and then I'd also like to add the other mobs we will be adding to here. So we'll take this guy. We do need a second one of these for the baby zombies that make their way. But yeah, um, it's a little bit lower, which is okay. We we can make do with that. Uh, trap door, perfect. Okay, there we go. So now the baby zombies can't get out. And then, um, we will need to work on uh, getting the spawners, um, ignores players. So we definitely need to do that. Um, probably should get some coarse fruit as well so they don't have any AI. Um, some sugar on it. Maybe we just get a bunch of prismarine crystals. Yeah, we can wash lapis lazuli soul fire. We can turn that into prismarine. I think we're going to go ahead and do that here real quick. All right, just a quick little system here. I've got quite a few of the cogs going and then just soul sand with fire on it. So we're going to throw the lapis this way. Perfect. All right, I will go AFK here and let those go. And there they are. They are done. We now... Oh. Oh, don't walk in that too long. You'll get a headache. But yeah, so I'm gonna need to press up actually quite a bit more lapis. So I will go ahead and do that. Um, and then once we're done, we'll be back at the spawners and we'll let them go. All right, so we have all the mobs coming down here. Now I have the vector plates um, all set up and moving over. Uh, we added the upgrades onto them. Unfortunately, I thought I was recording, but I didn't. But I added sugar and prismarine shards to them. So they're at the maximum activation range. Uh, and then we have them, I believe, at the minimum amount of spawn time. Now, they do still have the maximum, which is totally okay. That means they're not going to be super spawning in quick. But it means we might be getting them in here a little bit sooner than normal. Uh, but yeah, everything seems to be working amazing here. Uh, so now is the time to work on the killing area. Are you good, chicken? You've been trying to headbutt these guys for... You're still doing it. What is going on? Are there seeds on the ground or something over here? Oh, he died. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean for him to be caught in that. But okay, let's go ahead and work on the killing chamber. There was fire on the ground. I don't know why. Anyway, we'll ignore the fire on the ground for now. Um, yeah, let's get the automatic killing in. So we're going to be using a mob masher here. And mob mashers are cool because they mash the mobs. You're welcome. You didn't know that, did you? Well, anywho, we need more swords. 
cool. So the swords are made. The mob masher should be able to be made. Yes, perfect. We're gonna grab a lever. This will be the on off switch for the mob farm. Um, and so we need to make sure these guys are dead. And then we can just block. Oh, oh, they're too fast. Stop it. Dang it. Okay, we got it that time. Whew. Okay, so this gets placed here now. Oh, and they can come back all they want. Okay, now. Why, what do you, okay. And so what we need to do is just flip the switch. And so I'm pretty sure I'll put the switch over yonder. Something like this over here. Um, but for now, I'll just place it like this. And this will kill them for us. And we just get XP and we can just go AFK. And so this is how we don't have to worry about it piling up too much. So that's really cool. And then the other thing too is I think on this lever, we'll put it like right here or something. Uh, we'll maybe switch up these trap doors for something else. But we'll also have it so that the mob farms activate. So we don't have to worry about them... Um, like overflowing or working too hard. Like we can just leave them on or turn off all at once. So we don't have to worry about like the mob farm being on, but the killing chamber being off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some sharpness. We're gonna make a lot of swords because we can. All right, now that we have a lot of swords, we can make a lot of these sharpness upgrades. And we're just gonna do a total of nine. We need two more swords, jeez. All those swords and we get nine total. We don't even get 10. Cool, so now what we can do is add in these guys. And so now it should kill them super fast. Like as soon as they land, they die. If I touch this, I will probably die. So I need to be very careful. <laughs> I've got 45 levels on me. I don't really want to test it out. Oh man. So anywho, we have all of those there now, which is amazing, very good. Uh, let's also get some looting on it. We need to make quite a bit of these. All right, looting should be good to go, except we need these. Okay, here we go. And then we'll make, is it a total of 10? Yep, max of 10. There we go. All right, and then now we do looting 10 and boom, we'll be getting so, so many items just by being AFK here, which is awesome. So, and I need to be very careful as I will die again very quickly if I'm not. All right, and then we're gonna do beheading as well. And some of you may notice, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 14, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that makes 20 of those guys. And yep, we did get a blaze farm a couple of, ep or a wither skeleton farm a couple episodes ago. So yeah, I am talking about a wither skeleton farm. So there's 10. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure this will affect the other mobs as well, but we might as well just like max this out eventually. We don't have to worry about that today. But yeah, now we have the kill chamber. I don't know, is this gonna give us blaze skulls? Is that even a thing? Um, let's see here. I need to find my magnet. There it is. Okay, we are getting the zombie heads. Very cool. So we'll get those. We have eight now, 10. Okay, so we're probably gonna be getting a lot of those the more we stay here. So we can turn this guy off for now. Um, let's go back here. Very cool. So that's working amazingly. Let's clear out our inventory because we desperately need to. Um, magnet, hammer, go in there. Repair tool, you can go in there. All right, so now that we have the mob farm killing chamber good to go, we need to have something to do with all of the items. And that's where this absorption hopper comes in. So this is gonna be useful for two things. One, collecting all of... 
<laughs> that is crazy. Collecting all of the items, and then we're also gonna have walls of storage over here. Uh, and so the cool thing about having these guys be kind of put up is that we can knock these walls out and utilize these for uh, items. So I just realized now that the, the walls aren't even. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, I remember that. Okay, so don't let that bother you too bad. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the bulk items down here, and then we're gonna have like two items here, and then some of the more random items will kind of go here like so. Um, and so now we need to teleport back up here because we need the linking card, uh, this guy here, and then we also need a drawer controller thing, uh, storage controller, these, this guy. Uh, and then we can link everything to that. So let's head on down here. What? How did you walk out of that? That guy had a lot of armor on, jeez. Okay, and so for instance, um, rotten flesh is gonna be one of those things that's down here. Um, that's gonna be one of the things that's down here. And we'll probably put like the related items above each of these guys. Um, and then so like, uh, probably the heads cause we're gonna have a lot of them. But say the raw earth shards probably put here, iron ingot, potato. Um, and then uh, we're gonna put like infirmium essence there. But anywho, let's work on getting this set up. You might get mad at me. They're mad at me. Who cares? So this will be here. And if we show the area. Yeah, I want it to go a little higher up though. Okay. Yep, so that's good. And then I don't know, does this need to be linked? Like touching? I don't believe so. Yeah, I believe we can link them all just like this. And so, that should start putting items away. Oh, wait, no. It's gonna grab them, but we need down to be items. Oh, yeah, so it's working. We just need to lock a lot of these guys. Okay, we can do that. Okay, so those have been, everything is locked now, so they'll only be able to go in like the specified area. So if we do this, we should see, yep, that's going in, perfect. So all of these are now having those things be put in and then we need to worry about certain items being able to go in. So we might need to have a buffer chest here. Um, yeah, so let's get a chest. We'll have a buffer chest and then we'll have a pipe. We'll have a pipe like this and then an upgrade and it should only allow the things that can go into the, the drawer controller thing should only allow those to go into there, so we'll see. Okay, so we have kind of an update here. Um, so I've got this get like porting, putting items into this diamond oak chest. It's gonna be our buffer chest. Uh, we just have a basic pipe up right here, pumping into the storage controller, which is filling these guys up here. We don't have anything over here because we are gonna add a bunch more mobs, hopefully to this. Um, yeah, we might actually throw one here and we could throw one on each wall actually, which would be cool, you know, just kind of bring them around. Uh, but anyway, yeah, this is where we're at. Um, I have this set up all ready to you know be on a, a switch um, and then eventually that will be set up to all of the mob farms so that they're good to go but oh yeah and then I move this guy over here so it's a little bit more out of the way probably gonna do that with here okay I think if we were to move it I think we move it there that would yield us a lot more kind of awesomeness 
so we're not accidentally on it all the time but yeah so we're good there uh, now is using the experience so I want to get this XP solidifier here um, and see if we can utilize this guy to turn that into a solid form of XP so that we are able to store it easier in a storage drawer so yeah we have that I don't actually know too much how this works. I've also got a dark tank um, with 144 buckets, so we will have the ability to store the items at least, or store the experience so that it continues to pick it up. Um, so what we're gonna do here is, okay, so it's on the north side, fluid. So we put this here like that. Yep, and this is definitely filling up with experience. Very cool. Okay, so let's clear out a little bit of room under here because everything should be Obakabe under here. Okay, and then so salt solidified our XP solidifier. So we take this out and we use our pipe wrench that we don't have on us. Yes, we do. It's in my inventory. What am I doing? Sorry. Okay. And so we do this. XP solidifier. Does this require energy? On. Let me just do that. Okay. So we need a little template. I remember this. This guy here, um, we need an XP mold. So we need an essence bucket. We can definitely get one of those. Um, an essence bucket, there we go. Or no, just a bucket, we can put essence in it. So then we go yoink, we have one of those. Okay, and then to make this guy, we surround it with gold and then we can go like this, perfect. And then all we need to do is put this here or here. Yes. Okay. Perfect. And so you can eat these, right? Yes, you can. Perfect. So that is how we will have our XP. And then the cool thing is we don't have to worry about it because we're going to get some uh, functional storage drawer upgrades. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead, put a couple of these upgrades on this. We're gonna take all of our copper and process it. Should have, we got a little bit of copper in here, that's okay. I might need to do a little bit of mining for some copper. That is totally okay with me, because copper is everywhere. So there we go. Uh, one upgrade. There we go, let's do a couple more. Okay, there we go. We can upgrade these guys up to the next tier after that as well. And then, ooh, diamond blocks. Perfect. All right, and then the one last thing I want to do is the void upgrade. Okay, we're missing a lot of obsidian. So what I'm going to do is grab a bucket here. I'm going to grab some water. We're going to go into a mine and mine a bunch of obsidian and then come back. Okay, so we got just over, actually I had a little bit more obsidian in here, not that much. I didn't realize I kept it all. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and make some of these drawer upgrades, the voids. Come on, there we go. So nice, we have 14 of those guys. Very cool, so we will put that on the, um, at least one of these on the XP gummies. So. Here and here. So now we can hold 49. So we're gonna put Yeah, we're gonna put two of those there. I don't think we'll need more than 1.2 million of those. Okay, we'll put those here. Okay. So we can put more. Yeah, we won't need more than that. My magnet is on, that's why we're getting. And then we need to put the void upgrade on each of these. So if they get out of hand, we're good. And now 
Everything should be piling in. Like, we don't have to worry too much about it. Very good. Okay. Got epic shader grab bag. Dark fire. I have no idea how to actually use those, but they're cool. Very nice. So we have XP collection automated. We have item collection automated. Um, yeah, all we need is nether stars, and we can let those things run 100% all the time. Yeah. All right, guys, just a quick little message here. I want to let you guys know that uh, we are sponsored by MC Pro Hosting. They actually host this server and the vanilla server. Uh, so use code Turtle Club in the checkout if you want 15% off your first month, guys. I can't recommend MC Pro Hosting enough. They seriously have some of the best customer service. They're, uh, they're always up all the time. It's amazing. So I highly recommend checking them out. Go ahead and click the link down in my description if you want to check them out and get a server for you and your friends. Okay, so now we need to do the crazy process of figuring out which spawner is which so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a couple of these down I'm gonna get some torches and we're gonna place these right behind so hopefully that gives us enough light okay so this is an enderman um, so we can click that this is a creeper so we can click that, we need those. Zombie, we do not need this one. So we'll put him here. Um, wither skeleton, we need that one. So we're actually gonna break this guy and put him here. Creeper, don't need that one. Creeper, don't need that one. I mean, we might use these later, but we're not gonna use them like right now. Okay, so we have three more. Skeleton. Um, we'll be getting bones with the weather skeleton, so we don't need him. This is another Enderman. We only need one. And another the other blaze. Okay, so we don't need any of those. So those are the three that we're gonna going to be utilizing today. So these guys here, which is good. So I will go ahead and prepare some rooms for these guys, and we will be right back. Okay guys, so I have an Enderman spawner here and a blade or a Wither Skeleton spawner here. Though we can't do the Wither Skeleton spawner just yet, uh, we can do the uh, Enderman one. So what I need to do is set up a uh, Ender inhibitor uh, and put that here so that they don't spawn when they hit the ground. And then I'm also gonna hide one uh, probably like right here so that um, yeah they can they can do that hang on let me get all the items in here yeah we filled up with junk so for one we're going to take the carrots and we're going to put the carrots uh, put the carrots right here i also went ahead and upgraded the magma um yeah the magma cubes uh, i have a little slicey mob masher in there. I, we have the absorption hopper and then an ender tank pumping out all of the experience over there for us. Uh, they got looting 10, sharpness 10 on it. And so yeah, we're getting a lot of storage. So I have one diamond upgrade and one void upgrade so that will never get backed up on anything. Yeah, but this has been not doing too hot. Um, so I need to see a way of filtering those items out, uh, but we'll work on that in a second. We need to get the enderman going um yeah i've already set up the the little path here i made it three tall for them to go down so what we need to do is hop in here uh, and shift right click get that box off and then we're going to click a bunch with this to set the max spawn activation range um yeah and these guys should be ready to go so if i do some of this. Yep, we definitely got them. I'll have to kill this guy. But I can break that one, and these guys should be good to go. Let's see here. Very good. And the Enderman goes through and dies. Enderman's still activated. I don't. Hmm. I desperately need to work on this collection system here, so I'm gonna do that right now. 
All right, so real quick before I get into the storage stuff, I'm gonna activate this guy here and I don't have any more of the crystals to make the tinted glass. So what I'm gonna do is just set it up like this. Um, we'll have netherrack here. Eventually we'll swap it out. Don't worry yourselves. And let's see here. Here's this. And so this will activate from 48 blocks away. Very good. Okay, let's go ahead and enable hover mode and we'll knock out the torches. Okay, there we go. Okay. Perfect. So it's already working. So the skeletons should be working. The endermen are working, which is awesome. Uh, they shouldn't be able to teleport out of here. And I just want to see if we can see any endermen going. On this item collector here, there's no inventory. So what we could do is set this up here. <laughs> and that would suck up all of the items that could possibly go in there. So we won't be losing these. We'll, we'll be losing those a little bit. Get that out of here. But yeah, we have coal here because wither skeletons are dying. Um, boom. Okay, I don't know why magma cream is in here, but yeah, these are all things that shouldn't even be in here. Okay, so yeah, let me go through and we'll work on getting that processed. All right, guys, so I believe I have everything pretty much set up here. I did go ahead, like I, I think I showed you guys, but we did um, do the wither skeletons. They are now dropping in. I might have gone in there and died. Yeah, so I mean, I have 39 levels from that, which is really good, uh, but yeah, we have so many of these guys now. I think we should try to eat these all. And the cool thing is you can hit shift and click. And so it will give you experience. You can just hold this down. That's really good. So I like that. We'll get all those levels up. I think I had 71 levels when I died. So it means that we got all of our levels back. We can do a lot of enchanting. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, this has been set up. Uh, we'll more than likely pretty this place up on a live stream, just make it look really good. Um, but other than that, I thank you all so much for watching. If you didn't like the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all next episode. Peace out. Bye-bye.